All right, welcome to a log analysis made easy, lame creations. This is going to be a video segment. We're going to have multiple videos. Hopefully the concept is to take whatever level of search knowledge you have and uh, go to the lowest denominator and teach to a much higher level. Anyway, so this is going to start out uh, of our most easy searching. We're going to talk about indexes. It's really important to understand the principle of indexes in Splunk. Indexes are where the data is stored that Splunk reads and ingests. And you, you can have multiple indexes. And part of that is because you're going to be dealing with retention rules and particularly uh, security rules. So for example, here we've got two indexes. I've got a web index and i got a security index. And the security team needs to be able to access them both. But the web team, based off role-based uh, role access control and things like that, they only need access to their particular logs, the web index. That's why two indexes exist. And I just want to show that because now we're going to actually talk about indexes in its most uh, basic form of how to search for them in Splunk. So if we jump over here to my Splunk uh, dashboard here, we're going to open up a search page. And I'm going to use two indexes that you should be able to search as long as you have rights. You've got to be an admin, unfortunately, because I'm using internal logs. Internal logs are marked by their underscore log. But just put a Splunk instance up, you'll have these logs. And I've got two log indexes. One is called internal and one is called audit. This is your internal logs for Splunk, and these are your audit logs. And we're going to show how to search them. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say index equals internal and I'm going to show you a little trick so you don't kill your system I always put this little head 100 or something on there head 10 that's going to bring back the last so many results that way you don't just over flood your system with too many results so I'm going to just do all these queries I'm going to put this pipe this little bar head 100 onto it if I hit enter it's going to come back with the, first, the last 100 logs that have been written. If you don't get these back, you're not an admin on the box and you can't use it, but you can do the exact same thing with any other index. Now I'm going to do something else. I'm going to search for errors. And so I'm going to go error. If I hit error here, it's going to come back with 100 logs. And you'll notice it's uh, highlighted in the log where the word error is so I can see my error messages. Next thing I can do is I can actually search a different index. I'm going to go look for audit and I'm also going to look for error in there so I'm going to change this to index equals underscore audit or I can do combining I can do index equals audit or index equals internal put these in parentheses so that they come out in the right order there you can use ands or ors uh, in between words so for example this the and is implied and so you need to put parentheses there, or the thing will read index equals audit or index equals internal and error. It won't put audit and error together. And so if you put these little parentheses here, you'll get index equals audit or index equals internal, and the word error is, com is contained there. If I run that, I get results. You can also see interesting fields. Both logs are there. I got 66 internal, 34 internal audit. Your results will be slightly different because each of them are different, but you should be getting internal audit logs. Anyway, I hope that helps you real quickly with uh, searching for indexes, and um, I hope please look at the link below. This will be a, a, vid a video list, and this is the first of many, many uh, simple tutorials on how to search Splunk. Please follow, uh, join the video and look through them. If there's anything you don't know how to use, go watch the video and give me feedback if there's some things you want to see. Also comment below, join my Discord channel and put comments in there. I tend to do videos based off uh, the requests of uh, people who are watching my videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and hope you'll come back.